All right, we're booting up uh, control module ending in 0087. I have not, uh, we've just put it fresh on these batteries. We know these batteries work. We... Okay, so we've done a, a reboot. So I'm about to reboot the device. And one change I did make is on the uh, address. I flipped one on and they're all are off. Function remains one through five down. Uh, six is up and then all of the inverter sets are up. So just one, one change to the dip switches, see if that helps us. Anyways. I am in uh, Google Play and I'm searching for the Renin app. I'm just going to search Renin, R-E-N-O-N. -N. And so I see Renin Cloud and I see Renin Smart. I'm going to click Renin Smart. Now I already have this uh, downloaded, but you have a choice to download Renin Smart. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up and um, I'm going to log out. So really important to understand um, that uh, Renin has a number of different um, levels uh, and that and it's sort of a cascading down. So at one top level, you have Renin and you have your distributor, then your installer, and then your end user. And so um, if you need to make, if you're a distributor, you need to make sure that the serial number of the controller is added to your account. And if you're an installer, you need your distributor to add that serial number. And as an installer, you need to add that serial number to the end user account. And if you happen to be both the installer and end user, you'll need to create two accounts, uh, one for your end user and one for um, your installer account. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in my um, distributor account information. And so I have uh, entered that. So I have my distributor account. I'm gonna log in. And so um, what I can see here is I have 10 devices. And so uh, these are all the devices that Renin has added to my account. I've sent them the serial numbers and they've added all of the various different, um, these 10 controllers, these 10 systems. And then I go to users. So these are my installers and currently uh, have two installers set up. Uh, both are, are set up for testing. So, um, but what I want to do is I want to assign a, um, I want to assign one of the devices to uh, my installer. So I'll click, uh, well, I'm not going to click on the device because that's not going to help. But what I'm going to do is click on my, um, my installer and they have, they already have four um, devices on their account, but I'm going to click this icon on the top right and I'm going to select one of the uh, new um, uh, controllers that are currently unassigned and I'm going to distribute that to my installer. So now my installer's got the new um, controller on their account and that's as a distributor all I really need to do. But um, now if I'm an installer, let's see what it would look like. So I've gotten... I've gotten my distributor to uh, send me uh, to, to get that distributed, so I know it's on my account. And so I'm going to log in as my as an installer and take a look here. Whoops. Uh, all right, so we're logging in as the installer, and what I can see is I have five devices that I've installed, but I'm just installing them for one user. Again, this is kind of a test this test setup, but. Um, if you had multiple users, multiple customers, you could add them all listed here. But I'm going to go and look at the devices, and um, I want to make sure that I'm uh, going to be uh, assigning the device 0031. That's unassigned to anybody, and I was just assigned that uh, serial number. So I'll go to users, and I could either create a new create a new user, uh, or I can just I'll just use the one that I currently have for testing. And just like the distributor top right, I'm going to click the distribute button. I'm going to find the unit and I'm going to distribute it to that user. And as the installer, that's really all you have to do. But if as the installer, you would also want to go and help the end user get set up. But uh, whether or not you're, you know, the, the installer end user, you want to go um, log in as an end user. So I'm going to log out and then I'm going to put um, my end user account. Uh, whoops. Uh, uh, 
Uh, so I got the end user account and I'm going to log in. And um, I, I have five devices currently assigned to it. I have a lot of batteries as an end user, but that's cool. So then anyway, the, uh, the unit that I currently am um, trying to get installed is 0031. Um, everything else looks like, I mean, everything's offline at the moment because nothing's plugged in. But um, what we'll do next is in the end user account, we'll go to mine and then we'll go to network config and we'll go to Bluetooth network config. I click on the device, Bluetooth is connecting. And so then what I have is my Wi-Fi name and my password already in here, but you just want to enter your Wi-Fi and your password, hit confirm. And now uh, hopefully it's connecting. So what we want to do is to check the front of the uh, device, <clears throat> this, the L this LCD screen up front. And it took a few seconds, but now what I'm seeing is in the top right corner is there's a Wi-Fi signal that is blinking. And uh, by blinking, that means that um, it is connecting to the Wi-Fi. And uh, I'm gonna wait, it's gonna take probably about a minute or so. Uh, but it's, what it's gonna do is when it does finally connect, it's gonna go solid. Okay, my device is here, and I'm going to look for the one. Oh, this one's lit up, 0027. And then, uh, so I'm connected. I can see it, which is cool. 